Good afternoon everyone. My name is Shivangi Singh and I am BSc Nursing 4th year students of uh, College of Nursing SGP JMS. Today I am going to demonstrate uh, abdominal examination. Abdominal examination is a procedure that is performed for the pregnant lady in order to know the well-being of the fetus and also to know the lie presentation position and fetal heart rate to know the well-being of the fetus overall. So we are going to start the procedure. I would keep the uh, name of my dummy as sweetie so I can address her that way. First of all, we ensure privacy to the woman and we will make her comfortable. I will explain procedure to uh, sweetie. Uh, I am going to do abdominal examination in which I will put your hand on your face and look at your child's face. If you have any pain or any pain, then tell me. So, what uh, can I do? I will take the consent from the mother and after taking the consent, I will give her a proper comfortable position that is supine position with her legs semi-flexed and her thighs a bit apart. Now I will uh, wash my hands, I will warm my hands before uh, it and then I will uncover only the abdomen with the consent of the mother. After this I will centralize the uterus with my one hand. Now I will do the inspection. Uh, after uh, Before that I will also ask mother if she has emptied her bladder or not. If she had not I would ask her to do so. Now after centralizing the uterus with one hand. I will do the inspection. In inspection, I will see the size of the abdomen, contour, any marks, scars, linea nigra, stria gravidarum, all these things I will inspect. And if there is abnormality, then I will note. After that, I will uh, find the fundal height. For that, first using the ulnar border of my left hand, I will start palpating from the zephy sternum. From zephy sternum, I will palpate gently and see the first resistance. The place where I get the first resistance that is known as fundus of the uterus and then also I will identify the symphysis pubis. After that using the inch tape facing downwards, I will measure from symphysis pubis to the fundus that I have identified. This okay, the reading I will uh, note it and main purpose of this is to know that uh, the Fundal height in centimeters must be equivalent to approximate uh, age of gestation of the fetus in weeks. This will tell us about the well-being of the fetus. Now we will start about the uh, our palpations. First is the uh, we will uh, do the fundal grip. For the fundal grip with our both hands we will uh, palpate at the fundus. By palpating at the fundus, we will know the uh, fetal part at the upper pole of the uterus. At the upper pole of the uterus, we, this will help us to know about the presentation of the baby, whether uh, it is the breech presentation or vertex presentation. Now, second, we will do the lateral grip. For lateral grip, we will fix one hand on the one side of the abdomen and with the other hand, we will palpate at the other side. We will repeat the same by doing it for the other side. This is used to know, uh, this we are doing lateral grip, we are doing to find the back, to locate the back of the fetus so that we can find the lie of the fetus, whether the fetus is longitudinal or transverse. Now we have two grips, pelvic grips. First is the Pauli grip, which is also known as the first pelvic grip. For that, we will use the thumb and fingers of our right hand and we will add, uh, try to hold the f uh, part of the fetus, which is at the lower pole of the uterus. This will tell us whether uh, the fetal part at the lower pole of the uterus is mobile or not or, or it is fixed. This will tell us whether the uh, fetal presenting part of the fetus is fixed in the uh, pelvis or not. For the second uh, pelvic grip, we will turn towards the mother leg and we will ask her to extend a bit of her uh, legs so that we can do the second pelvic grip. For second pelvic grip, using both our hands, we will try to uh, uh, feel the part of the fetus uh, at the lower pole of the uterus. This we are doing to find the uh, engagement of the fetal presenting part. If our hands are in di divergent direction, it means the engagement has been done and fetal presenting part is engaged in the maternal pelvis. But if our hands are co convergent, uh, the uh, pre our presenting part has not been engaged. So these are the four grips that we have done. After that, we will check the fetal heart sound. Fetal heart sound uh, will be checked using uh, stethoscope or fetoscope. I will use stethoscope. 
for that we will have a second hand watch a stethoscope now as i have located the back of the baby is on the left side so uh, fetal heart rate will be we will hear fetal heart rate on the left side we will draw an imaginary line from umbilicus to the ischial spine which is known as ischial umbilical line and then at the midpoint of that line the it is the best place to hear a fetal heart sound so we will hear fetal heart sound at this place this place we will hear it for complete one minute after that we will note the recordings and we will explain all the recordings to the mother we will record it we will report it in our record as well as in maternal book and uh, uh i will tell you about the findings the findings is that uh, the lie is the longitudinal lie and the presenting part is vertex with denominator is occiput and the uh, baby is a uh, left occipital as the back is on the left side and occiput is the denominator left occipital is the uh, as a position and presentation is a uh, vertex presentation fetal heart rate is also normal which is between 120 to 160 beats per minute and then we will explain everything to mother record it and we will uh, ask her for follow up mm -hmm.